Today's video is nothing like I usually do. Uh, today's video is going to talk about a lot of different things which went through my head the last couple of months. And this video, I should probably rename myself for to Talking Raptor because that's what we are going to do. In this video, I want to go through different things about why I'm not really happy with some videos I'm doing. Um, my personal goals in general and maybe other things you know maybe other goals and steps I have to take to achieve so such goals and uh, this video was kind of inspired by something what RT Games did where he um, he said to himself yo I actually have a little bit of anxiety from YouTube um, that it was great to see how he got per, uh, supported by his community and what he wants to do more because obviously we are not the same he's far bigger than me he does far l different stuff than i do um, but there were some key talking points i personally could relate so i welcome you to this very long video and this very more or less unorganized video because I only have just some talking points I want to go through to remind myself. The rest is just pure uh, me talking. And I welcome you to my gamer cave where we are in a nice, almost very close. So if, if shit hits the fan and this video is absolutely garbage, I can hide in my bunker back there in the middle of Switzerland. Now, again, the point which I have right now or the big 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 problem I'm personally facing right now is that on one hand I don't really enjoy World of Tanks anymore that much when it comes to gameplay wise and well the RGM Borsig video was a little bit um, more unique or a little bit a difference because I just had a lot of fun it was everything went well and the problem which just arose over the last couple of months from Wargaming themselves and uh, other things honestly other things like the first big thing is and this kind of I guess um, is also sparked by what I've read on reddit uh, where people were making a meme about Sir Fosh and basically some people said well why if he's raging about the game so much and you clearly see he doesn't have any fun in it um, why is he still playing it um, the short answer is it is his life it is basically the way he feeds himself as i guess that's the, that was what i read on reddit and as i guess something i can personally relate to because one big thing why i still do world of tanks content is because i establish myself or i guess i establish myself in my own mind in this um, niche and i can get some money out of it and it is nice to have it's i guess i uh, i i am i don't have a problem with saying it's around 500 to 700 dollars per month which is very nice for a student to get like very nice but i had some people already tell me um do you even enjoy the game anymore especially when they see gameplay video or first impression videos and i just have to say they're right Lately, I have a quite hard time, for example, through live streaming and so on, to generally enjoy the game, to have moments I just say, holy shit, that was amazing, I'm, or moments where I'm looking forward to playing the game. But right now, I have rather thoughts of, oh, I should play the game, or I should do a video, rather than I can do a video, or I can stream. It, it, it is a, it's just one word difference, but it makes a big difference in, in this little squishy mass right up in here. Um, because if you have to do something or you should do something, it's more of a... <coughs> well, if you can, you're like, oh yeah, I can do it, you know. And last yesterday I did have a stream, which obviously was German. And then I was uh, with it, so I did um, also translate some stuff in English. But during that stream, I basically just talked. I didn't concentrate it on a gameplay. It was more like a just chatting stream rather than a World of Tanks stream, where World of Tanks was just there for you to have something to see. And it was okay. I had fun and I had... Um, 
it was okay to do that like because i wasn't focusing on the game i wasn't focusing on performing like the best i've ever been and so on and so on for offshore some shit stuff happened like rng getting us fucking o uh, fucking us over or stuff like you know artillery but yeah that was actually okay because i wasn't focusing on the game itself and now i just have to ask myself if I can find joy in a game while I'm not talking about the game, at least in a live perspective. What's the point? Another thing is, um, I do not, like, I still, f I consider myself to be a person which isn't that bad at explaining stuff. You you might, you might think, well, Raging, you have a little bit of a weird accent and um, pronunciation. Yeah, of course, I'm Swiss. I, I'm English is not my mother tongue. I'm not from Great Britain. Um, but one thing I think a lot of people already told me and some people which are from overseas, from Great Britain, from America said, one thing they do enjoy about me and those are friends, not YouTube followers and stuff, um, that I'm very, um, I have a weird voice in the sense of I'm constantly having, going ups and downs in how I pronounce stuff. Like it's a little bit of a flow in it and I'm, I'm very proud of that and I'm very happy how that works. But... Right now, I just have to ask myself if I'm even fit to be a YouTuber or even if I have a chance of making a career in YouTube. <sighs> because some people may or may not know, I am doing YouTube now for over six years. Uh, I started six years ago with my first proper news video about the T55A and fun story. It is actually still one of my uh, the most viewed videos out there. Back in the days, I did videos on both languages, two languages in one video in on this YouTube channel. And I still think the best decision I've ever done is to split it up, to have an English and a German channel. It helped me tons and it was great. But there are some huge things which recently are very much like um, num not numbing, but very much um, shading, fogging up my mind. And that's just that the fact that after six years in a niche where it is possible to even get 100,000 subs and stuff, I wasn't able to break 10. <sighs> that, is, that is tough. The fact that my most viewed video, which is now two years old, hasn't broken 100,000 views even though there are content creators out there which on a daily basis basically are able to get 10 1,000 uh, 100,000 views that sucks the fact that there is only one video I've ever done being able to break above 50,000 views kind of hurts Especially as it is, this is a video which I'm not proud of anymore. There were tons of error in it. And simply speaking, I did learn a lot lately from talking, from presenting myself and from talking to a camera. Yes, still, I kind of feel like right now I'm a little bit watching too much on myself, which, you're, which is right here and not at the camera. But again, there's things I can um, improve on. But I do feel like in the last six to 10 months since I became a CC con uh, community contributor for World of Tanks, I do think that my um, videos, they did get a lot more in quality. But uh, like they improved in quality a lot. I started to do the PowerPoints. I started to basically have a script for me to know what I have talk have to talk about. Sometimes they just get longer. Sometimes they get less longer. Um, and that's still good. I'm still proud of that. But some older videos are just, in my opinion, straight up garbage. And the fact that right now, like you always say, yo, when you get more and more subs, you, uh, as usually it starts to grow a little bit exponentially. But the problem is uh, m my growth is still linear. I, 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 I get maybe between 200 to 400 subs per month. And you now might say, wow, Raging, I didn't expect that from you to be this um, focused on numbers, to be this focused on view counts, to be this focused on subs. But the problem is when you are a YouTuber and you go into your dashboard, you're literally getting blasted in your face. Yo, 
in this month, you did, you had 18 less subs. On the last 28 days, you had 18 less subs than in the previous month. Yo, your newest video, we are going to rank it against the last 10 videos you've done. And, oh look, it's performing garbage. You know, it ha we are um, they're literally telling you, um, this video is getting less viewed and is getting less um, watch time, even if we recommend it. So you're kind of getting drilled into n basically just knowing that views and numbers are everything on YouTube. View views and watch time. And it's something, I guess, which just kind of stick. And it's also just, I guess that, I guess inferiority complex is the wrong word, but I just feel like, and maybe this is a little bit of um, too much self-love, but I kind of feel like that the things I've do, I'm doing should net a lot more than they actually do. Like the amount of time I'm investing is nowhere near that what I'm getting out of it. And it's just not like monetization. Again, I'm, I'm making around 500 to $700 per month, which is great for a student. Again, it's great little money on between, but the fact that I could probably do a job and make a lot more than that is just kind of something which I also came to realization since, since this year. The fact is I recently turned 24, nine days ago to be precise. And I'm sitting here still lit quite literally at the basement of my parents because I'm still studying. I fucked two years in Zurich. I had no credits whatsoever. I went to a new university and right now I am once again in a situation where if I fail one out of two exams this semester, they can say, go fuck yourself and go out. You are being kicked from the studies. The good thing is I'm very confident I'm going to pass those. There's another topic I'm going to talk about in just a second. But it's chi still just something I, I have to keep in mind. I'm 24. I've never worked a proper job except for military service and some practicas, you know, where I gain some money, which I still have on my side because obviously I'm Swiss I'm going to hoard it like a dragon it's just that right now I'm, I'm just asking myself and this question I should actually never ask but am I putting too much time into YouTube into streaming into Twitch which I could have used to do more studying you know and the sad truth is obviously you can I could have obviously but I guess that you can ask everybody which is studying and um, is not an A plus student that they will say yeah sure I could have done more but in my case it just feels like in particular that I could have done a lot more than others it feels like because for example I um, I get home at like six six o'clock and sure I could do some exercises you know rather than do them on the weekend and I usually start to, to think about what to, should I do a video? Do we have something new and stuff like that? And I don't think that is good. And especially, again, lately, the fact that I don't really have a lot of fun anymore playing the game. Um, the fact that even I had two months of vacation from university, we don't had any classes whatsoever. I went to a week to Italy. I went a week to Germany. But it was one of the times I did the least amount of videos. Because I simply got bored of it. Well, not really bored, but uh, more like frustrated, I guess. It's one of those words. Um, it's not really either of those, but it's just kind of in this direction. Because I got bored and f frustrated of the game, so I got bored to do the video. Again, it, it wasn't a I can do videos. It was I should do videos. To not fall out of the YouTube algorithm. To not disappoint you guys and another thing which now started to arise in the last um, two months is basically how the CC program shifted towards um, screwing over the smaller CCs or CCs with jobs basically and 
the best example are the last three released premium tanks the t42 the cis 50, um, 52 lis um, furry, uh, fox polish tank and the t77 all three tanks we didn't had prior notice well we know we they were coming but we didn't had prior time to test them which was usually the case when for example the Shaf 24 or Shaf 24, for example, or the AFES 1 or stuff like that. Usually, th you have like one week time to prepare videos for those um, tanks. And I see it always as a way to ensure that the quality of the content is high and everybody has the same level playing field. When you want to play soccer, you don't want to have a field which is slanted towards one goal. So you're more likely to receive a goal and lose. Because everybody had time to prepare and um, do his reviews. To prepare, get their first impression and start to play a lot more games. Get 20 games in before they can do a proper a review of the tank. And since this happened, and again T14-2, I do want to point out that is not more gaming's fault. That was the fall. Like, there's nobody's fault. It's just that they had an agreement, an NDA agreement with Twitch, and that was clear, and they couldn't break it. Period. Makes sense. It's totally fine. But the T77 and the CS, uh, CS52 list, they were both mistakes by Wargaming itself. And what I think Wargaming doesn't understand is... Well, maybe they do. Maybe they do, actually. Um, but the problem which I see is that it fucks over us small content creators. Content creators which aren't, aren't full-time streamers, content creators which aren't full-time streamers, and YouTubers, you know. Full-time content creators get a huge proportion of um, help in that sense. Because in YouTube, or in the YouTube sense of things, first come, first serve. If you are the first one to release a video, you are more likely to be at top of the leaderboard if somebody is searching the video for at least some time before the bigger ones are going around. And this kind and everybody knows that. Everybody. And this is why that, for example, people which want to do a lot of quality content, if it is we have a lot of editing, for example, and I know I pro I, you probably know who I'm talking about, they, 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 they simply do their video and as soon as they're finished, the tank is already outdated and nobody gives a shit anymore. But when everybody has the same amount of time to prepare stuff, it's a lot more fair because you have a set deadline where you can prepare and be ready to do so. The fact that there were people which got the T42 and the T77 before us which weren't CCs because the simple were able to buy it quicker is kind of insane if you ask me. And it kind of shows that like another thing which goes through my mind is that the name CC doesn't stand anymore for community contributor. We are not really contributing anything for the community anymore, actually. But more stands for content creator. And the fact that also the last um, Waffentrigger event had only eight prominent streamers being featured. Look, I don't have a problem if somebody gets featured um, because they are bigger. It makes sense that they want to use their poster childs, the one which are m l more known to promote the thing. That is totally legit. But the fact that I am basically forced to tell my viewership on Twitch, yo guys, I'm sorry, you shouldn't watch me because I don't have drops and only the big ones have drops. It's just a huge punch in the gut. The same is now with the new Brawl Club, where we basically have to fight to get drops. Sorry, but that is just stupid. It's genuinely stupid. Only the ones which perform best during the um, Steel Hunter event or Steel Hunter mode week um, f uh, episode three, they will get drops. And you know what drops does? It saps and bloats and inflates views numbers insane and takes away the view numbers from people like me, which don't have drops. I am trying to go for it, but to be honest, I'm, I'm not really, really looking forward to it. I have to play 10 games each day and hope that I am in the top um, top positions. And the fact is that this makes me toxic because I have to perform and then every single little garbage RNG thing is starting to piss me off. Especially if I have in the back of my head, either I have a little time, I'm tired, 
and now I actually have to fight to to not fuck up my f my community basically. The f I d I do think the the, the, the Polish club uh, brawl club was a lot better because it allowed us to get some codes we can give away for our community. And everybody could do what they ever wanted, you know. They could do that. They could put giveaway in their stream title. They could put giveaway in their videos, which I did, for example. That is fine. But the fact that those days where drops are basically active for the big streamers, it just simply means that we, as smaller streamers which don't have um, drops, we can go fuck ourselves, because we are losing. We not only do we not get. Um, news viewers because everybody just wants to leech some free stuff but uh, yeah I, I, we also have to basically tell our viewers go watch somebody else which actually has drops you know and that's another thing which is just happening lately in the cc program which i just seen and it really annoys me and it really uh, saddens me really and the fact that the best example uh, would be now, uh, the new Re um, Rino Geronte, I think, Rino Geron Geronte, the, the new Italian tier 10 medium heavy tank. As you've probably already seen, I did a video about it. I actually even uploaded the wrong thumbnail. You know why? Because I was under a tank crunch that I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible. You know why? We had three hours to prepare this fucking video. Three hours from getting the notice that this tank is coming, that's why a middle finger, to the release or the green light that we were able to give out the information. During that three hours, um, I was cycling home from university and basically was just moving along in class, in math class, and didn't really pay attention because I was busy preparing the video and doing the comparison of the gun stats to give you an example of how those will feel or how they will see. And just to then see that I watched um, the most part of the class, because it's still more important, that at 3 o'clock, Death Games already uploaded a video. That was a fucking punch in the gut. Because he's a full-time streamer, he's a full-time YouTuber, he has the time. Me, as a full-time student, no, not really. I have to focus on actually important stuff. <laughs> or, excuse me. Uh, that, okay, that, that was wrong worded. To actual important stuff to me personally, which makes me go further later down the road, you know, or which enhances my skill set and enhances my ability to make money later down the road. But <coughs> that was just an insane fucking gut punch. Usually we have like one day or even two days time to prepare a video on different tanks. <coughs> and as already mentioned, the point is, on YouTube, first come, first serve. As because, and this is something I am absolutely certain about, or absolutely know it. People watch new stuff because they're already subscribed to the YouTuber. They're not going to search out about this, ta or many people are not going to search out for this tank when they already had their news. So for me, as a s relative s really small content creator compared to Death Games, it is death bringing for that video to perform well when he is quicker in the release. And he was quicker in the release, and chances are pretty high that um, I'll, comparing to other videos where we had similar uploading schedules, or I was slightly ahead, yeah, chances are that I'm losing in this video just around 50% views. Just because of that, because we don't have the level playing field. And uh, that just fucking sucks. When you're constantly getting like treated as a second to third class in a system which was promoted as being equal. But I can, at least we got the confirmation it isn't equal. It's not equal. <laughs> Glad we know it now. But the fact that that we don't even all have the same chances in time, even though we back in the days had it. Two months ago, we had most of the time time to prepare. It's just devastating, man. It's it's just frustrating. Because and this might be incredible self-love, and this might be some people will now say, fuck you, you piece of shit, you are absolutely unbearable. But I consider my preview videos to be better than those this games does. Because 
I personally always go try to go as deep into the stats as possible, show comparisons, where in most of the videos just put it in the background and the stat sheet in the middle for some time, you know. So I very often had just like this inferiority complex, I guess, where I feel like I've did so much on this video and I did so much proper stuff. Like for example, when I'm doing an explained of a new event or so, where I go through the website, I take the most important keywords, I'll put it in my PowerPoint, where meanwhile somebody else, again, desk games in that case, um, just scrolls through the website. Just gut-wrenching. It's genuinely gut-wrenching. When you put so much effort into a video and somebody else does, at least it looks like. Again, don't get me wrong. I don't want to hate Ntesa. He did. He, he deserves where he is. It's just the example for me personally because we are in this case competitors, you know. It's just gut-wrenching when it feels like he does, in that case, in those website stuff, far less and gets tenfold amounts of views. And again, you might say, wow, Raging, I didn't expect you to be this um, envious or something. It's just that it's not envy or something. It's just the amount of work I put in, it doesn't give me the recognition I kind of want to get. And uh, that's just something which was now is, is, is now more and more lingering in my head over the past couple of weeks, past couple of months even, where, again, the fact is that the CC program, or at least what we've seen so far, is just slanted towards full-time streamers and content full-time um, YouTubers, you know. It kind of makes the rich richer and the poor poor, or makes it incredibly hard to get rich if we say now sub count and view count is um, um, a big metric so again you, you might say but why, why are you so fixated again YouTube basically ranks you all the fucking time if your video is performing well or not and I do want to perform well I do want to improve that's why I always have a freaking feedback section at the ending of my videos I want to improve I want to reach goals I want to get better I want to be able to give more people news they deserve and they want to hear. And I want to be a better human being each day coming, you know. I want to be a better person, a better content creator all the freaking time. <sighs> so, yeah. That's like the one thing. And again, six years in the making. And, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm simply sure, I guess, that the niche I'm doing is just saturated. Or is dominated by one big person. For example, in the German part, I know that I'm on the top when it is in the new sector. Nobody can achieve the amount of views I can on those news videos with likes, you know, in comparison to likes. So I know that there I was able to achieve the goal of being the number one source, which I'm very proud of. And I really, really, really am proud of that because it shows me people do um, enjoy or do like um, value quality you know in that sense and here six years in the making not even able to break 10k that's fucking devastating man that's fucking devastating <laughs> i can't say it else the more i've reflected of it the more i kind of sometimes feels like it's a waste of time especially the fact that i kind of also lost two years in study because i was focusing on youtube sometimes a little bit too much than i should you know yeah, it's, it's, again, those are the things which are going through my mind the past couple of months, really. So yeah, y that's why I've also started to do different videos uh, at games like War Thunder recently. Just because um, it is a game I lately enjoy more. Both are flaws, World of Tanks and War Thunder. But the fact that in World of Tanks I basically have everything already just kind of feels, why should I keep on playing, you know? Or why shouldn't I just do the minimum? And it is kind of unfair for other people which are still working to get the CC to me saying, yeah, I'm probably just going to do the minimum at the point or at the moment. But yeah, why should I do the minimum? And that brings me to the next topic. And this is my studies. Um, because my studies are very important. Again, I'm, I'm studying mechanical engineering in the University of Arts and Technology in L Lucerne. I already studied two years at the ETH Zurich. And I failed there twice through the first year. 
And even though I passed the um, majority of the exams, the simply they counted it all together and then it wasn't a pass because of their weird um, grading system. I like mechanical engineering. It's still something I absolutely love. Um, m one of my one of my works made me go, made me get a prize, a, a national prize, which even gave me the opportunity to go to Taiwan for one week. So I really, really enjoy mechanical engineering. I do enjoy the fluid and thermodynamics part a lot more than the um, actual um, stiffness of things. Like, for example, calculate how many forces are now in this rod right here when I do this and this and that and that. And you should probably watch out now that it's broken again. But um, I don't really enjoy that, but I do enjoy thermal and fluid dynamics. And the good thing is, this fucking shit has a future. Like, being able or like being part of a company or being in the sector where you are start doing optimization of um, of household um, circles, where you use, for example, a heat pump to warm up your water, parts of your water, um, solar, thermal, um, ground power and stuff like that, uh, that has future fluid dynamics in the sense of how how um, streamlined are things laminar flow and stuff this all has future and it's always used you know in airplanes and and stuff like that it's it's something which i really do enjoy and again seeing that i am not or like my numbers in the youtube um, terms are not where my expectations are it just tells me basically that i bet on the wrong horse at the moment that I should just now focus a lot more on my studies than on YouTube itself. Like for example this weekend I'm probably not going to do a lot, maybe I do, um, but uh, the majority will be a learning because you have next, ex uh, next week you have an exam, in, like a, a pre-exam in thermal and fluid dynamics, which is important. And again, to go back in the beginning argument, I'm 24, I don't have a job and it will still take at minimum one and a half year for me to have a bachelor degree. Most likely two years. Because I'm most likely not going to make 96 credits in three semesters. It's very hard. Right now I have a full eight hour a day schedule without counting in preparing, rehearsal and self-study. <laughs> and it's tough, man. It's tough. And somehow I have to juggle YouTube in it. And most of the time just my sleeping is starting to um, lose it, you know. And that is our next section is my, my goals. Um, my goals are definitely to finish the studies, uh, to finish my bachelor degree when I'm most likely 26 and then start uh, my master's degree. Because, again, I only had... I only worked in the military for 300 days and had some practicas where I worked. I have no fucking working experience. Especially in now with my with my bachelor's degree, they usually want you to have working experience to be a good mechanical engineer. So I have to basically do. <laughs> and it's also not that fun, to be honest, to know in your back of your head, you have to do a master's degree. And if you don't, you're kind of out of options, you know. And... I will have to do it part-time, like that part-time studying, part-time working to gain working experience and to gain some money to just in case, you know. And that is the main goal and this is the main, main goal. And the other goal, my secondary goal is still to achieve 100,000 subs on YouTube if it is my English or my German channel. I, And again, this might sound again stupid self-confidence or stupid self-loving. But I do consider myself to have the skill set, to have the knowledge, to have the ability to achieve those 100,000 subs. If it is in a world of tanks, if it is in War Thunder, if it is variety streaming, if it is a knowledge or explanation stuff. And that is now basically the last part of my video now, which I want to talk about in this so what can I do right now? What can you do for me? And at the moment I'm thinking of maybe stopping to do gameplays because they are consistently the worst performing videos on my channel. And I guess it's understandable. I'm, pro I, I'm, I'm not as skilled as a skill for LTU 
and I simply am not too used to do live gameplay. Replay analysis, they, they get very little of those videos get actually proper views, you know. Again, YouTube is really great at that, pushing it into your face, telling you, yo, that video was shit. And they also need a lot of work sometimes to go through the replay again, maybe have to cut out some stuff, maybe even do a little intro, which um, I kind of learned from Adam Myland or um, Exanelium, both being very good content creators. So yeah, now I'm asking myself, should I start doing different videos? Or should I do different ideas? Maybe should I do some challenge stuff? Mm, the problem is when I want to do a try to free mark the Fosh 155 of HE, well, Death Games is already trying it. The fact that I free marked the IS-7 without any gold or any rations, well, nobody gives a shit. It's a fucking IS-7. <laughs> should I maybe try to do something like, I don't know, 30... The problem is, it's also something that's already did, and and, and again, this it, it is uh, this feels like, I guess, imposter syndrome in that sense, that I'm constantly trying to do something or somebody else already did, you know, and this is like the problem I have right now. I don't have any ideas of what to do. Like I do have some ideas, like for example, redoing um, my ten tips to get better at World of Tanks most viewed video, because it's garbage. It's period. It's garbage. It's fucking shit. Do a news guide on the two how to get the two seven nine because when I was talking to AEG, Ed, especially Edwin, he said I, I, I my video was the only one to actually a proper guide to get it and and I said yeah it was garbage and I said well it got the job done it was a little bit long but it got the job done and it helped me a lot but it still was a little bit could have been better <laughs> and that, that's fine it's fine when he says me I can do it better you know. So yeah, other ideas. I, like, if you have any ideas what you want to see from my channel, just let me know. And come, let me know if you're even able to fucking listen to me to ramble 37 minutes. Again, we have now 8,000 subs, which I'm still very, very grateful because together with the German channelers of 15,000, that's twice the amount of people which are living in my city. I think even three times. Well, you can't really call it a city; it's a village. <laughs> but that's that's a lot of people, you know. That's still a lot of people, and I'm grateful for that. Um, but I, I don't think that more than 2,000 people are going to watch this video fully, you know, maximum, I guess. Sh maybe I should try to do more clickbait. I don't know. It uh, For some reason, for a lot of people, it works. And the problem is I'm just not a person which wants to do clickbait, like, or obvious clickbait. It's just... Like, for example, when I see a video of a streamer or a YouTuber which has their face plus in like, <gasps> oh my god, it, ooh, or something like that, I, I immediately get, I, I mean like, oh my god, really, you're, you're, you're an annoying piece of dirt, you know, it's, it's, it's that feeling and I don't want to be that person and I think, uh, I personally think of myself that I am not this person, you know, so, um, yeah, another point is, should I just start branching out to more games? maybe be a variety streamer or a variety youtuber again i i saw the rise of no beans i saw the rise of rt games and it is genuinely inspiring to see how those people grew with their content because they just had the right idea at the right point and the right time and, and executed it very very well again this video is inspired by RT Games because I, it was inspiring to me that he talked about this issue because usually, usually you always think, oh, those people are always happy, always, they, they, they are so good, you know? And no, that's not the case. We are human. We all are. We are not robots. There are some people out there which can go, which are super depressed and then on one point they click on the, the live button and now they are happy, dappy, yuppie do. But that's not the, uh, but it's a very little portion, I would say. A lot of people, like, and that's a thing I think a lot of people also start to forget. I am not anything better than any one of you. Because sometimes a lot of people have, like, the fear of talking to somebody on YouTube. To, t to write them a DM, to, 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 to comment on something. Or um, to ask them about their advice. Because they are scared of getting rejected. And trust me. That's the same thing for me. If I think, like, the fact that I was able to grab my balls and ask out <laughs> Edwin and Swatch if we could do a stream together, and potentially they're doing a video about it, I was shivering as fuck when I was posing the question because I was like, yeah, chances are they're just going to say no, why should they, you know? 
And it's the same thing when I'm thinking about asking, for example, skill about a video or another big stream, because all the fucking time, the thing which is going through my head is, why should they? Why should they accept my request to do something with them? Why should they even do something when it's not benefiting them? You know, it literally isn't. When, for example, I'm maybe streaming with skill, for example. And again, it's nothing against skill's personality. It's just in my mind right now. I know that skill is an insanely sweet person. And I saw it countless times. It's just, if th this is my proper consciousness, back there, back in the mind, I constantly have this voice saying, they won't. Why should they? They, they don't get any benefit out of it. Why should they? They... You, you you are a little piece of shit with 8,000 subs. You're a little piece of shit which barely can reach 40 viewers. Why should they stream with you? Why should they do a video with you? Nobody knows you. Go fuck off. Why do why you even think? Why do you even think about doing that? And this little voice, some, uh, problematically, just um, is way too strong in many, many cases. And it, it kind of takes away the, um, my... Um, my willingness to ask people out to do videos together or stuff together, you know, which are bigger than me. And even people which are in the same size than me. It also takes out, like, it, 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 this voice is just so obnoxious. It also tells you, your video is shit. You are not doing proper. You could have done this better, you know. It's constantly there, this shitty ass voice. So, yeah. But the point what I wanted to say is, mm, when I'm not enjoying World of Tanks that much anymore, I maybe should pick up other games. And sure, still do new stuff because it's something I really much enjoy. But maybe not even other games. Maybe do something I actually also enjoy, which is not teaching, but explaining stuff. I still have a presentation which I've done one year ago for an, um, for an English class, which is about the bionics. Uh, five uh, um, bionics explained in five minutes. Um, and maybe I should try to do it, you know. There there are channels out there which are um, big, half as interesting, for example. Very good channel. Um, Wendover Productions and Mustard, they are insane, but they are insanely well-skilled as well in editing and 3D making, you know. Um, or animation in that sense. Or people like Lockpicking Lawyer, they have very short videos which are amazing and cool to binge watch. Maybe such thing is my calling you know i do like to explain stuff and i guess it's something you saw countless and countless of times and lastly obviously maybe i should just stop entirely maybe do the bare minimum i don't know maybe really just stop and focus on the real important things again my studies they are n key priority right now but they don't get 100%, they maybe get 70% of my available spare time I want to uh, use, you know. <sighs> and yeah, I guess that's basically everything talked about I wanted to talk about. And I'm pretty confident that I most likely lost a lot of subs. I'm pretty confident I lost a lot of people which are now saying, I didn't expect you to be envious of other people. I didn't expect you to be this focused on numbers or on money in that sense. But... Again, please don't get me wrong. It's just, yes, I'm doing it as a hobby. But the amount of time I invest in that hobby simply doesn't give me the satisfaction. Or like the amount of time, the amount of things I invest simply do not correspond with what I get out. I have high expectations. When I do a video, I want it to be almost perfect. If there's a small hiccup in language or so, I let it slide. That's just how I am. When I go out and you're talking to me, you don't see me face out left and right because I cut out myself talking. It's the same thing with right here. If i having a longer break to think about what I want to say, it is in there. Even if it stretches the video by five minutes in the whole fucking video. Who gives a shit? It's just who I am. But <laughs> it's just that the preparation for the PowerPoint, for example, the preparation of the video and... and um, um, the fact that I wanted to show the different soft stats, you know, might have been a good for another video, a good idea for another video. But um, it's just that 
for six years now. I'm basically waiting and fe um, fe uh, theory crafting what video can I do to finally get a huge boost, you know. Finally get the recognition I personally think I deserve. And again, this sounds incredibly stupid from somebody like me, I guess, from somebody on the internet to say this. To say you, because you have to earn recognition. Uh, it's just that as dumb as it sounds, I feel like I'm doing a lot to try and get some recognition. And countless times I simply get uh, this no. Your video was garbage. It didn't rank well. Messages, you know. That's just the things which are right now. And yeah. I guess that's everything I wanted to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 47 fucking minute long video. I do have to cut out a little bit because my mother had to get something. Because again, this is a cellar and we have a fridge back there. And yeah. I also didn't want to use the green screen just because why should I? Uh, the focus was m me right now, not gameplay or anything. <sighs> so yeah, um, what 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 are next goals? I guess I most likely I will start or stop doing gameplay or replay analysis because they're usually the ones which um, which um, rank the worst. And I will probably start to focus on redoing some old guides. Again, get how 10 tips how to get better at World of Tanks. And maybe um, the 279 guide, how to get 279. Because I think still a lot of people don't really know how a proper way or how easily you can get the 279 when you have some time at hand and some skill and a lot of tanks, at least from one nation, when you are just at the 279 missions, you know. And probably focus on that more, a little bit M even more quality than quantity in that sense or maybe I am um, the good thing is I actually have a friend which suggested that hey if you want to do a video and you simply don't want to edit it I, I can try edit it for you and, and I would do it for free to see if it's well if I like it or not and I might even take him up on this offer maybe I um, I ask him to edit some funny stream moments maybe I'm starting to do some Among Us videos I I, I, I love the videos from Kaith, I love the videos from Small Ant One. I love the videos from from No Beans. They are amazing people and a lot of fun to watch. I love the videos of RT Games. They're a lot of fun to watch. And maybe I start doing something in that direction. I don't know. I genuinely do not know, because sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone. My comfort zone is World of Tanks. For some people, it worked. RT games. He said it himself. He was only doing TFT, uh, Team Fortress 2. And suddenly he did something else and it worked out for him splendidly. And again, it's just my goal is still those 10,000 subs, uh, 100,000 subs in total on one of my channels. It doesn't matter which one. It's just that this is a goal I want to do. And lately, I just feel like where I am right now, I either have to postpone. Um, that um, goal for some time or find something else which actually brings me joy or actually a lot more joy because again World of Tanks can still bring me joy and I still like the game it's just that lately there are a lot more things which makes me not like the game too much again if you have any ideas any suggestions what I should do let me know in the comment section below I don't I, I really do not expect a lot of people to watch till the end you're you are not supposed to watch a 50 minute long video of somebody just blurting out what he is in his mind especially from somebody which usually wants to come over as professional prepared and subjective uh, ob objective and whatever only on um um theory driven and numbers driven and professional and not just um, blurting out what his heart and his mind is saying you know Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so, so much for having me as your <laughs> little host in, I guess it's a little bit of a podcast really, than a video. And um, thank you so much that so many people of you are still with me and decide to watch me. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not envious about anybody. It's just that I feel like that the amount of time I'm investing doesn't 
like either I'm simply too shit, you know, maybe I'm too bad. My, maybe my English is too bad. Maybe my pronunciation is too bad. Maybe my videos are too bad. And I simply do not want to have it. Um, you know, I don't want to believe it, understand it. But I guess the more and more I'm thinking about it, maybe it is the truth. My videos are too bad. I'm too shit. Who knows? Yeah. I do have to say, though, it felt good to talk about this. Uh, it does feel good to talk about such topics. And I hope uh, that you also had um, some interest in a little bit of history or a little bit of things about me, a little bit about how the CC works and about how I feel about everything. Maybe I, maybe I should do more such talks, you know, maybe about other topics, because there are a lot of topics I'm very much interested, but some topics can get insanely toxic. I guess you already know what I'm talking about or hinting at in that sense. Uh, it's pretty soon and it's pretty controversial. Anyway, I'm, I'm dragging it out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Cheers. And I see you around. Have a great weekend, if you're watching it on Friday. <laughs>